Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location and I'm starting it off by just showing you guys exactly what the section you guys didn't see was. It's this, the staff only type medical first aid center that we've got going on here, which I didn't show you guys last episode because of the writing that's here, which for my eye seems to be Thai what I'm going to say that I think it is. Honestly, I could be quite wrong on that. I've been wrong on that before on a few of these um, languages that, uh, to my eye, look similar to this. Honestly, I get wrong very much. Cambodia is one that uh, I get wrong oftentimes. Um, Myanmar... Um, I mean, shit, even India and Nepal, although I really, you know, I'm, I'm almost positive we're not in Nepal. Uh, if we are in Nepal, then I think something's gone seriously wrong. Um, but, uh, yeah, fairly certain we're in Thailand. Where in Thailand is a really good question. I mean, look at this really, really cool water, these big mountains that we've got over here. Now, we've seen Thai mountains before, and, uh... The, the Thai mountains that we saw were sort of right over, were they in, they were like, they were around here, uh, in Krabi, sort of near Phuket, so we're gonna kind of go in this region over here, I'm gonna say somewhere along the lines of, is there like a big touristy place, um, we're gonna go with, um, Tukatong District, that sounds fantastic to me, place it right down there and make the guess, the answer, oh, not there exactly, another part of Thailand, which was right up here. This uh, set of islands is the ones we were seeing. Uh, okay, those are very beautiful islands. Definitely we are in, we were, we are in Don Sak District over here on the sort of, well, the sort of northern or I guess eastern shore of uh, the Thai Peninsula. Is that what you would call it? I don't really know, but uh, anyways, we're right over here, which is super cool. Hopefully, some of you guys guessed Thailand, and maybe some of you guys even specified a region, although, honestly, I really doubt that. So, super cool, 44, 58, that's the amount of points I'd be happy with, uh, and I am. So, now on to today's daily challenge. All right, here we are in the main section of, oh, not the main section, in today's daily challenge. And what a daily challenge this is. My goodness, we are in a very strange place. We are in a, uh, well, a movie theater of some sort, but uh, looking around, there's uh, quite a lot to see and quite a lot that uh, shows that this place is a, a little bit more than, than meets the eye. Of course, there's a three-legged person uh, sitting in, in this seat right here, which is weird. There's uh, some sort of, like, beanbag chair over here. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. This this worries me quite a bit because, I mean, we've got two little cups here, so it seems like it might dispense some sort, some sort of liquid. But then we can see this person's face right here and some sort of signature and some sort of hot pink color. And it just gets me all kind of worried about what kind of uh, theater this may be. Also, you can see some remotes on these chairs here, some kind of garbage uh, can in uh, the back here and uh, some uh, well some other seats down right over here if we take a look over at uh, the projector we can't really see what it is but if we uh, assume that uh, that blue light is emanating from the projector itself it means it's some sort of digital projector so uh, we're not watching film here that's pretty much all i can uh really uh, see right now, uh, other than this screen has weirdly rounded edges, which is very bizarre for a screen to have, and it seems like it's just an all-white screen as opposed to being a silver-painted one, although, uh, with this kind of light, honestly, uh, you wouldn't be able to tell a silver-painted screen apart from another one, which just means you're not gonna be watching 3D movies on that, but that's fine. So, really begs the question where in the world do you think this is this could be about this could just about be anywhere in the world but um really uh, it's only found in one place i guess personally i don't really know but uh, hopefully uh, i'm hoping to uh, be able uh, to to find out maybe the guess i'm going to make is going to be decent although i have 
absolutely no idea. So that's where you guys come in. Tell me down in the comment section below, where in the world do you think we are? Tell me down in the comment section below, and in tomorrow's video, like the section you just saw, I'm going to make a guess, and if you're the person that guesses closest in tomorrow's video's comment section, I'm going to announce uh, you as the person who, uh, who won, who guessed closest. Congratulations! Insert name here. You got it right, or you got closest, depending on if, you know, you get, get the country right, or um, just other person who guesses closest. So yeah, put down your guesses. Tell me where in the world do you think this is? There's no prizes, but uh, glory. Oh boy, let me tell you, there is a lot of that. Alrighty, well, we find ourselves back in the main section of today's video, but it all, we just get dropped into a really, really cool place. So I'm just going to check this place out because this place looks really neat before I start. Okay, wow, I think we are in northern... India? Question mark? Perhaps? Maybe Nepal? Um, we're gonna go with, uh, sure, we're gonna go right here. Bihar, make the guess. And the answer was India, but it was actually over here near Raipur. Or, uh, Bilai Nagar. Okay, very, very cool. So that's where that was. That was a pretty cool spot right there. But this is a viewer challenge and episode, which it always is. Every episode is one. So if you guys got viewer challenges, make sure you send them in. Um, I'm going to tell you how to do that in a moment. This one is brought to us by Alun Gazwa. So thank you so much, Alun Gazwa, for this one. Uh, here it is. If you guys want to create your own custom challenge, you can go to geosetter.com, G E O S E T T R.com, create your own custom challenge, and send it to me using the YouTube inbox system. Or if you don't want to do that, uh, but YouTube inbox system really is the best, uh, you can uh, put it as a comment in one of the videos. So thank you so much, Alun Gazwa, for this one. There's no theme to this challenge. The message along with it just says, I'm back, y'all. So I'm assuming that uh, it was originally a uh, comment on one of the videos, and then I just copy-pasted it into my email and sent an email to myself, which is why the name appears in the top left-hand corner here, or else it's a bit harder to do that. So thank you so much, Alun Gazwa, for this challenge. Of course, if you don't want your name displayed in the top left-hand corner, or you don't want me to say it, make sure you tell me that along with uh, your message. So thank you so much for this one. Boom, let's do it, and you can find a link to this challenge down in the description below, so you can do it. Uh, yourself and my goodness Alun Gazwa you have got a love for stadiums that's uh, one of the things I know about you we know a lot about you uh, we know you got a love for stadiums a love for racing perhaps and you are from Indonesia so there you go uh, but uh, now let's go look around here challenge has been accepted all right now immediately immediately looking over here the first thing I see when I see this is I think this is Manchester City, right? Well, let's find out. Yes, that is indeed where we are. And in fact, I'm not sure, but I think we might have been to this location here before. This uh, actually, this exact location uh, in another challenge at another point in time. So, there you go, Manchester City. That is really cool. Well, and now that we know where we are, and honestly, uh, that doesn't really matter because that wouldn't have been um, very difficult to find. Spoiler alert, it says it right over here. Um, you know, it, it says it, Man City True Faith. Uh, it, it says it right there, so, you know, we got that. It, it, it wouldn't be that, uh, that difficult to uh, figure that out. Uh, and, you know, we know where that is. That's uh, right up here. Uh, Part of the uh, is it's part of oh my god whenever I try to find places I can't find them there it is it's um it's part of the Orion's Belt of the uh, UK Liverpool Manchester Leeds just because they're three big cities sort of in a straight line a diagonally one to the other and then you can say like this is the bottom part of Orion and this is like the the top part anyways doesn't really matter there's Manchester and where in Manchester is it it's um. Well, we can probably find it, but actually, I don't care about fun. Oh, come on! Well, Museum of Science and Industry, you know, there you go. There's, there's that. Uh, I'm just gonna click on this, but that I'm not really interested in that, so I'm even gonna close this for right now. And let's just go looking around because that's more fun, right? I want to look around the stadium. I don't think I, I took, uh, I took my time last time and, and looked around this. This is my 
God, this is a big stadium, isn't it? Wow, how many people do you how many people do you think can fit inside here? I'm asking that to myself because some of you guys might know. That's really cool if you do know. In fact, it's really cool if you've been here before. Right? This is a place where some one watching could potentially have been in their life. I don't know. Has anyone has anyone in the comment section or who's watching ever been here? That would be pretty sweet, right? Um I haven't. I'll tell you that much. But um, that is, it's really sweet. Look at that. Everyone's all ready. Is there like a game going on? No, there's no game going on. This is like uh, like some sort of practice or something. I'm, I'm not really familiar. This is before and or after. Or it's some sort of maybe like preseason type uh, thing. Honestly, I have absolutely no idea. I, I am, um, Ireland is Superman. I don't know what to make of that sign. That's something. Is Ireland like the last name of a player? Or are they talking about the country? Either way, ah, well, no, if they're talking if there's a person whose last name is Ireland, then uh, that's not that's not strange, but if uh, if they're talking about the country, then I don't really know what they're getting at. Now the real question, do I know anyone who plays? Have I ever heard of anyone who's ever who's played for this team? And the answer is probably no. Right? Who who could I have possibly heard of that plays on this team? Um let's try and, and make um no, no way. I'm not trying to make a guess here because if I do try to make a guess, I know it's going to happen. I'm going to say a player on some kind of rival team. It'll get people riled up, right? It won't get people riled up. I know that. But uh, see, there's this player over here whose silhouette I should probably recognize. Sadly, <laughs> I don't. So uh, there you go. Uh, this feels like uh, this headband feels like it. It's a, this is a headband this person's wearing, right? That feels very. Uh, it feels like something that I should really recognize. A player with a headband like that. But I just don't. I have absolutely no idea. So. Sadly, I can't. What does that say? It says it says P, P P A. Oh, it actually says the person's name here. Passion. Oh fuck. Okay. Well, there you go. It says passion. All right. Well, we know where we made our guess. Boom, and it was pretty much there. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. We got a passion for soccer on this one. Well, where are we here? Stretford End. Okay. Well, we're in a still picture. Stretford End. Manutud.com. Happy 30th to Gary Cho 9. Okay, well, Gary. Gary Cho or Gary something. Gary. Gary Chag? Gary Chak? So it's like an A in this. I don't know. Gary Chow? I don't know. Uh, it is nine. That's interesting. Um, okay, not nine. Okay, not nineteen forever. Twenty times European capital of trophies. Manchester. Manunited.com. Oh. Okay. Well, there you go. This is a much bigger stadium. I'll tell you that much. I don't know. Yeah, it looks bigger. Manchester United, which this place is, has a bigger stadium. But it's a lot less nice. Uh, I guess Manchester City's stadium is much newer, I'm guessing. This one is a lot bigger, though. Wow, wow, wee, wow. That is, that is something. But hey, I mean Manchester United, right? They're having a terrible season this year. <laughs> oh, come on! I don't know. I mean, I I heard, uh, but I, I I don't know that. I don't know that firsthand. I don't follow soccer except for once every four years. So there you go. I follow it once every four years. Uh, where is this? Well, is this in is this in Manchester? Maybe. Where in Manchester is it? Uh. Is it really in Manchester as well? Well, it might be, probably. It's Manchester City, United. Is there? Does Liverpool actually have its uh, have a team? Well, I don't really know. 
Well, let's just go like, um, oh, wow. Atherton. But it's like Aether Town. So I like that. I'll say it right there. Let's make the guess and the answer. That we're actually still in Manchester. Just in a slightly different part. Well, there you go. We're just in a slightly different part of Manchester. Oh, 5447. Okay. Okay, this one's completely different. This isn't a stalker stadium. Unless it is, in which case that is very confusing. But let's try and let's try and figure out which icy place in the world are we. And my initial reaction to this icy location is that we find ourselves in... We find ourselves in Iqaluit, but we could be in Svalbard. It's very hard to tell right off the bat, to be honest. Uh, Law Lore Mechanical Plumbing 24-Hour Emergency Service. That's awful nice. The plumbing service here, that's good. Don't want to have frozen pipes. So, which frozen land are we in right now? Well, uh, okay, that's cool. We're, we're, I think we're in Canada because this is Inuktitut right over here, uh, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I'm going to say because of that, we're probably not in Inuvik. We're probably in Iqaluit. Those are the two super northern towns that I really know of. Iqaluit is the one, so, you know, we did confirm we are indeed in uh, Nunavut, we're not in Iqaluit, which is hard. They're all they're both hard to find because they're both very small, and the maps have biases against small places like that because they don't appear very unless you're zoomed in a lot. Uh, I'm just trying to at this point, I'm trying to show off um, Inuvik, which I found. It's right over here. It's just hard to find because it's not at the it's not at the tip, it's just right on here. So here's Inuvik, which is not Iqaluit, and we already figured that out. Uh, we're in Iqaluit, which is... Where again is it? It's right there. Okay, found it. So, here we are. We were probably, you know, something like, um... Or like right there. Very cool. I mean, look at that, right? That's that's pretty awesome. There we are. Baffin Island. Big island. Lots of big islands around here. Look at that. So, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, Municipality of Iqaluit. And we're up here in uh, Canada. So, that's pretty sweet. What can you do? What can you do here? Well, there's plumbing, so we know that. Emergency plumbing, that's good. Uh, it's very cold and snowy. This, I, I don't know what time of the year this is. I would imagine this this might be summer. It might not be. Summer might be a lot more gray than this. This might be uh, early winter or something like that, we, which is uh, interesting. I, I don't really know what time of the year this is. I, I don't know how different things look at different times of year. Here we got a stop sign with uh, Inuktitut writing on it as well, which is pretty sweet. Uh, what else do we have around here? Let's see. Uh, we've got oh, just someone, someone bending over. Well, there's plumbing. Well, I mean, I, I don't know if it's like I don't, I don't know if uh, that means it's like, like plumbing is like indoor stuff, right? It's not like I mean, someone's not. There's not like um, like like sewage, right? I don't, I don't think there, there's like uh, people have like there's like a sewage system or something like that around here. It might work on uh, on the old on the old bucket and honey wagon system, which you know sucks. But what what are you gonna do, really? This person's ATVs all uh, all bungled up there. People, you know, got satellite dishes, watch some TV. I mean, really, what are you what are you gonna do all day? TV seems like a pretty good thing. Um, internet, man, there you go. Thank God for that, right? There's a lot of stuff you can watch on uh, on the internet. Uh, yeah, I doubt you can get particularly good internet up here, to be honest. But uh, there you go. Looks really cool. We haven't really seen anything. We got a snowmobile or a snow machine, whichever one you want to call it. They're both the same thing. Well, they both mean the same thing. But uh, a boat. I don't know if you're going to be using that anytime soon. So I'm guessing that probably means we're not during the summer. Because if if person's got a boat, then... I don't know. Like, you're not riding your boat now. So, this is probably not the season to ride your boat. So, there you go. Yeah, we were in a Callowit. Not the right spot. Alrighty. Ooh, this looks really cool. I like this quite a bit. Oh, man. Check out this location. Wow, that is really cool. Oh, okay. 
So we can see these uh, very nice black license plates. And that can only mean one... Th well, it can mean a few things, actually, because a few countries use black license plates. Black and white license plates. Those are really cool. Like, mainly black license plates. Oh, wait a second. Huh, that's unexpected. That throws a, uh, a wrench in the works now, doesn't it? Why are we seeing Chinese? We're supposed to be in Indonesia here, which means we shouldn't be seeing any Chinese, but we are. Okay, um, well, China uses yellow license plates, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and, well, let's look at what, we, what do we see here? What do we see on this sign? What does this writing look like? Oh, okay, that seems much better. That seems, now again, I, I can't read this at all, but that seems much better, right? That's not Chinese, which is good. So that makes me think, okay, we're not in China and or Taiwan. Neither of those, I think, use black license plates, though. I think they use yellow license plates that are maybe even a little bit more square with uh, two rows of numbers. Might be wrong on that, but there you go. Well, knowing who sent this challenge, um, oh, wow, look at that. They got like, cool street bikes. I mean, look at those. They've made bicycles. They also got scooters. Well, maybe they, that's not their scooters, but look at these bicycles. They're pretty flashy, right? Nice yellow tires. Those look like fun. And just riding the road. So where are we? Well, there's like a there's a lot of places we can be here. Where are we? Well, uh, I'm gonna go on. We're gonna say we're on this main island over here, and we're gonna go so special district of Yogyakarta. That sounds like fun. I like this special district. So let's go say we're. Oh wow, no water, no water in this special district at all, really. Okay, well, let's go. Let's say this is this is where we are, right there. I, I know this lake is too big, but what can I do? Um, I wanted us to be in the special district. Ah, screw it. We're in the special district. We're in the special district. Maybe we're like, maybe we're here or something, right? I doubt it, but I just want us to be in the special district. So I'm gonna place it right in the middle there. Let's make the guess. Oh, you tricked us. You knew that would trick me up. Also, black license plates available in other countries, such as Malaysia and, I think, Maldives. I think it's uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, Maldives are the ones that use black license plates. I just assumed Indonesia, but we were actually in Kuala Lumpur. That is pretty sweet. Batu Caves. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. And there you go. There's the body of water we were in. 2033. And finally, last but not least, we find ourselves in... Well, this could be the famous uh, one time always in Indonesia guess. Is this going to be the one? Well, it could be. Honestly, the climate looks appropriate for it. Uh, beautiful palm trees, big cities, a lot of apartment buildings, rising buildings that are rising. That's what I imagine when I imagine Indonesia. There's a lot of people there and it's a pretty nice climate. A lot of water, it's starting to sound about right to me. The name down in this bottom right hand corner has absolutely no bearing because I, I don't know. When I see that name, I don't know. A person with that name could literally be from anywhere because I, I don't associate that name with any sort of nationality. So that's no clue. This picture is mostly blurry, but that's also not a clue. I don't see any writing. All I see is climate and knowledge about who sent the challenge so we're gonna go with at the very i'm gonna say we're, we're close to singapore so we're gonna say we're there so let's go i mean i don't think uh, this there's this isn't big enough no it's not big enough we're in a big place let's go padang right there so there you go close to singapore not in singapore let's go padang on this one make the guess oh you Wrong climate, eh? Okay. Bahrain. Oh, man. That's Bahrain? Oh, sweet. That's cool. Oh, I like that a lot more. My God. You tricked me on this one, Alun. You, you've done it. You've done it. You tricked me. You, you actually did a whole challenge without choosing Indonesia, and you just, just screwed me on that. My God, those last two locations. Well, I mean, at least it was kind of close on... Because at least Indonesia is close to Malaysia. But this one, Indonesia is not close to Bahrain. Not at all. Climate. 
I guess not. I mean, palm trees is what you can find. Bahrain. I'm, I'm imagining the population isn't really growing in, in Bahrain, to be honest. I can't imagine it going up. Uh, but big buildings, sure, why not, right? Who's going to be in those buildings? A lot of people moving in. Because, like, it's pretty small. Small place. Ooh, it's got one of these things. Oh, that's really cool. Look at these. Wow, these look like fish. That's a nice one. That's, a, that's quite a nice one. Look at that. That's, that's very nice. I'd like to see what this looks like at one point. That'd be pretty sweet. But yeah, Bahrain. Okay, there you go. Found a country we have not been to yet. So that is super cool. And we were maybe in a place called, well, Marina Garden Park. All right. That's not too special. 1241. That's all right. And what's our final score? Our final score is 21 or 103. So uh, double Manchester's you figured that one out. Uh, Iqaluit figured that one out. Then Malaysia is not Indonesia, but it does have black license plates. And apparently, well, not apparently. We found some Chinese writing in there, but that didn't fool me for very long. The fact that it was black license plates and it was sent by uh, our good friend made me think that it was in Indonesia. And then the last one, it was just a still picture and the name had absolutely no bearing in my mind as to where it could be. No clues. All I knew was climate and the person that sent it. So again, I guess Indonesia and struck out. The actual answer was Bahrain, which is super sweet because that's a place we haven't been to yet. 21103. Very nice. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, tune in tomorrow for more hot GeoGuessr action. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.